Hello everyone. In this video, you should learn how to draw the a cone in isometric view. So the question is, draw an isometric view of a cone with the 80 mm diameter and 100 mm long axis when the axis is in the HP and in the VP. So first, in order to draw that one, construct the circle with the diameter of 80 or with the radius of 40. Before that, uh, first uh, type the uh, apply the limits, units, and zoom. That is the first step. And uh, go to the circle command, circle, and in the screen. Now give a 40 mm radius. The question is given 80 mm diameter. That means 40 mm radius. So with the 40 mm radius, I constructed one circle. So I want to change, I want to draw this circle in isometric view. So for that I am changing the mode to isometric draft. So the background of the screen will change. So the diameter is 80. So from the center to this point it is 40. Now the thing is you have to construct a square with the radius of with the length of 80 80 and from here changing the orientation of the plane iso top iso plane top so this length must be 80 enter this side also 80 enter this side also 80 enter and this side also 80 enter with the diameter of 80 we have to construct second isoplane line from here isoplane top of 80 enter towards the left 80 enter come back 80 enter and 80 enter so I have constructed one square with the diameter of with the length of 80 by 80 and now so how to draw the circle in isometric view we are going to draw that circle by using four center method so in order to draw that one I am going with the line command where the angle is more at four corners so here is it is more from that corner to opposite sides middle point so just move the cursor onto this line wherever you will find uh, this triangle symbol that is your middle point so some of you uh, some of you uh, will not get uh, this triangle symbol so what we will do is what you need to do is just uh, click on this arrow symbol o snap f3 then you will get these options so you have to tick on every option if you are not getting that means somewhere you have not enabled that now try to click on all these options and you will get the line now this is the point and middle point of opposite sides so here I am getting triangle symbol similarly from this corner opposite sides middle point so here I am getting triangle symbol and uh, from this corner opposite sides middle point middle point now use circle circle command so I am I'm, uh, calling it as four center method because so when I am constructing this one, after constructing this one, I got the uh, four centers. Here, first one, second one, third and fourth. I am using these four centers to draw the isometric circle. So I am using first circle command and I am giving this as first circle center. First circle center, this is center point for the first 
circle and these two this much as a radius I got one circle so I want this portion is required portion so remaining should be trim trim go to trim option trim it and this is also trim trim now same circle command and this is the second circle point center point and this to this is second radius so this is your required part the rest should be trim 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 this part also trim this part also and uh, similarly and first center second center completed this is one is third center circle and center is this one and these two this is radius this two this is radius now this is your required part this is unwanted part trim it trim 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 third one completed next fourth is this one this one is the fourth center again go to circle and this is four center this to this is radius now again this is required part this is unwanted part trim trim it so we got a, a circle in isometric view now I want to draw a axis the axis should be perpendicular to these two planes so I have taken one is length axis taken the width I have taken length on this axis width on this axis the third axis should be height axis so you have to draw the axis along the third axis that is height axis go to line and from its center you need to draw the axis line so for that first get the center point for this circuit by joining its diagonals its diagonals from its diagonal to diagonal now I'm getting this as center for this circle so from this point draw the axis line at a height of 100 mm so further I have to in order to represent the axis go to bilayer and other go to load so here you will find so many options go down somewhere you will get the uh, uh, center to center to center to option will be there center x2 or center 2 I'm clicking on center 2 ok and then ok now I want to draw this height axis nothing but axis so for that I am selecting line command again you need to choose this axis center to axis now click on the first point where you want to start from where you want to start so I am getting the axis line towards width axis but the axis should be along height axis along height axis in order to change that go to this option and change the plane to isoplane left or isoplane right so where I am getting one vertical line give 100 mm enter 100 enter escape now you have to change the line type again go to by layer and change that to continuous now go to line and this is your apex point for the cone join this apex to the 
tangent points of cone. Now this side also we can call these two lines are generators. So this is your required cone. After this delete the, these two lines not the axis. Uh, delete these lines which are drawn from daggers delete now this is your required core so I want to increase the width of this core select these lines and also these arcs so we have uh, two methods one is p-edit polyline or else you can directly change from this bilayer property click on bilayer you will not get uh, directly you will not increase the width directly from this box first you need to change the line settings line width settings then you will get a box in this you have to enable this option display line weight display line width you have to enable this you click on that checkbox and ok now select these lines what Whatever you want to increase, whichever you want to increase the width of the line, just click on those. Click on those. Click on those objects. So I'm selecting line to generators arcs. Now I'm going to by layer and change increase the width. So this is your required cone. I want to change the color also. Go to this and change it. Now so this is the cone. Now this will become dotted because it is a rare side of the object we can't see them so in order to uh, draw the hidden lines go to this again how you uh, selected the axis line in a similar manner you have to other go to other by layer first other then load here choose the first one first option for uh, dotted lines okay okay now in order to draw that select this as a cap and click on this object and again go to this and a cap then you will get the dotted lines like this now dimensions dimensions are very very important now i want to give the height uh, head of the axis length of the axis go to linear click on first point click on second point so before that change we are in a hidden mode change that to linear starting point ending point 100 but I am not getting the numerical value visible in order to increase the width uh, in order to increase the text uh, size we have a command called dimension style dimension style enter you will get this box modify and in this you will find text uh, text height I am giving this as 5 and also increase the symbols and arrows also 5 and the primary units are should be in zero then ok close now you get 100 now it is visible so actually an isometric view so this is this is not the way to give the, the dimension so I want to change the orientation of the dimension line so for that I have a command called dimension edit d i m e d i d dimension edit then enter 
will get four options home new rotate oblique click on oblique click on oblique then it will ask uh, select the object i am selecting the object as this dimension dimension then enter if there are more number of uh, dimension will be there if you want to change the same orientation then select all at a, uh, at a time so here i am having only one dimension i am selecting that only selecting that only so it's creating a lot of distance now it is opening But it is showing uh, 100 it is showing 100 i want to change that in different orientation d i m e d i t is a command d i m d i m e e d i t dimension edit is a command enter d sorry d i m e d i t dimension edit now you will get four options home new rotate oblique click on oblique then select the object i want to select this line i want to change the orientation of this line that's why i'm selecting from that enter now it will ask enter the oblique angle that means in the in which direction do you want to orient that so i want to orient the axis line in this orientation in this direction now it will move in the same direction so this is a way to give the dimension now text text also important user text also a b c d and also linear sorry now it is aligned from here to here it is so i want to change that also go to dimension edit d i m e d i t dimension edit enter oblique enter select this line enter now i want to orient this in this direction so select this dimension and uh, orient this now it is changed so this is <coughs> the cone resting on HP. Now the second case is resting on VP. I am taking, I will take the, this plane to the same dimensions. So one is vertical, the other one is horizontal. towards this direction 18 18 there in this direction also 18 and there in this direction 18 and there in this also 18 and there now these two corners are having more angle than these two corners that's why i'm drawing the lines from this corner to opposite sides middle point similarly from this point to opposite sides middle point to smooth the cursor where will where will get the triangular symbol so that is the middle point next from this point to opposite sides middle point mm -hmm. 
now go to circle again we are having four centers first center first radius then we'll get some circle trim the unrequired part unwanted part trim it trim it then similarly again use a circle use second center and second circle trim unwanted portion next trim this also trim this same use third circle this is third center in third radius trim it Fourth circle, fourth center, trim. trim, skip. Now we get the center point for this. Here also I want to trim this. Forgot in the trim, trim. This is the extra portion, unwanted portion. Trim it. Now get the center point for this plane. From here to here, join it. Diagonals. And uh, from here to here, diagonal join. Now we got the intersection point that is our center point for this plane. Now the axis should be perpendicular to these two planes like the height axis and width axis the third is length axis that means the axis should be drawn along length axis that means here there is no length axis one is vertical line will be there and second is the width direction so i want to draw the line along the length axis i want to change the plane to right plane right so plane right now select the axis representation line center to go to line and select this center as a center point and give this length as 100 enter and again change the line type to continuous then join the tangent points so this is your required cone resting on VP. So I want to change uh, the thickness of the lines. Select all the lines. I'm selecting this time axis also. Go to bilayer and line type. We need to change the line type again. So I'm giving this as 1.0.53 and I'm changing the color to red this is back side so change these two dotted okay so this is the way how to draw the cone in isometric view then delete these two diagonals no need to draw these is for uh, reference purpose so repeatedly it is fitting uh, now go to dimension so if I delete these two lines so these two are for identifying the center point delete it now uh, linear so in this type uh, in this time there is no linear line will be there only align select align because it is inclined 
from here to here it is 100 so it would have taken 100 only so i want to change the orientation along this head axis so for that go to dimension edit edit or select oblique and select the object 100 mm enter next give the oblique angle along the head axis so this is a way to give a, a dimension in isometric view after the completion of this give the text go to text single text specify text height as 6 enter rotation angle 0 and uh, I So I want to give the text as isometric view of isometric drawing drawing of a cone. First position A. axis vertical or resting on speed axis vertical or resting on HP it's to be bit axis horizontal escape so change Okay, may have so you have to write this sentence in the middle. Okay, this is the way how to draw the cone in isometric view. I hope you will understand.